Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. In today's video, we will be seeing some interview questions from real-time operating system. So it will be surely useful if you are preparing for some core company interviews or some competitive examinations on electronics based companies. So please watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, consider subscribing to the channel and follow us on our Instagram page. So let's see the questions one by one. The first one is a very basic question. How is RTOS different from other OS? Why this RTOS has been given so much importance? Why it is actually different from other type of operating system? So RTOS is real time operating system, whereas other operating systems are non real time. They are not giving importance to, they are not giving that much importance to time. But when coming to real time operating system, the most important factor or the constraint is time. Their all tasks are happening on a uh, timely uh, importance basis because time or deadline is given the most importance. So that is uh, that is the main thing which makes RTOS different from other operating systems. Okay, so that is a very basic question about RTOS. Now coming to the application of RTOS. What is the importance of RTOS in embedded systems? Okay, so whenever we are studying embedded system, we'll be studying its components as there is a hardware, which is application specific. There is an application specific software, and then there is a real time operating system. In mostly all embedded systems, we use RTOS only. Why we are only using RTOS in embedded systems? So here, the, uh, the answer is when it, when it is coming to embedded systems, uh, all the embedded systems are application specific means they are designed for a specific application right so uh, when it comes to applications or when it comes to uh, application specific uh, systems uh, there are some time constraints so when there is a time constraint means one task should be completed within this time or other tasks should be completed within this time so when there is this type of time constraints then we'll go for RTOS operating system or real time operating system for sure. Okay, so this is to enhance the performance of the system. When we are using RTOS, we want to enhance the performance uh, of the system, make sure that every task is completed within that time limit. Okay, so that's why we are going for RTOS in embedded systems. Next, the next question is connected with hard real time operating system and soft real time operating system. Which of these real time operating system has more jitter? Before uh, explaining uh, jitter, I want to tell you about hard real time and soft real time operating system. So when studying RTOS or real time systems, this hard soft, this thing is very, very important. Okay, hard real time uh, means uh, consider that a task should be finished within 10 seconds. 10 seconds is the deadline. Okay, from 0 to 10 seconds is the deadline of the task means if it is a hard type of real time system, then it should be finished within 10 seconds itself. That is a must. And if that uh, 10 second is not met, if the deadline is not met, then something very serious disaster will be happening. Okay, so this type of uh, real time system is called hard real time system. Now, what is soft real time system? Soft real time system means even if 10 second is uh, going around 11 or 12 seconds, some serious damage is not happening, but the performance is degraded and the validity of your output is uh, not very good. Okay, or, or it is not valid, output is not valid. This type of real time system is called soft real time system. This is the difference between hard real time and soft real time. Now talking about jitter, jitter is the unwanted deviation from the true periodicity or uh, you can say unwanted deviation from the true deadline. Okay, so this jitter, uh, which, which real time system is having more jitter. Okay, so hard real time systems, they are uh, mostly intended to uh, stick to their periodicity or stick to their deadlines. So the jitter is less in hard real time system. Whereas in the case of soft real time system, jitter will be more. Okay, so there the periodic changes or deadline changes is acceptable to a particular level. So talking about jitter, hard real time systems has less jitter and soft real time system has more jitter. Okay, the next question is related with a very important part. Uh, in real time operating system, which is interrupts. The question is, what is an interrupt? What is the importance of interrupts in RTOS or real time operating system? So uh, in a very simple uh, way of explaining uh, or explanation, interrupt means 
so we know that in a system there is a processing unit or you can say it as a cpu or central processing unit which takes all the important decision it controls and coordinates all the activities or tasks uh, happening uh, or processing or getting processed in in the system so uh, whenever the cpu or the processor is doing one task consider that one of the other units or one of the other peripherals or one of the other uh, you can say parts of the system requires some service needs some assistance so that part or that peripheral or that unit will generate a signal uh, to indicate the processor that i need a service i need your help or i need a help from your side so this signal is called an interrupt signal okay so in order to uh, generate interrupts there are various ports and there are various type of uh, signals to uh, get interrupt service okay so this type of generally understand that this type of service given by the or uh, required for a peripheral or a part of the system is called interrupt and uh, or whenever uh, consider in in a, in a very general way of explaining in a real life if we are doing something if somebody is coming in between and talking to us we'll say that don't interrupt me interrupt okay so that type of uh, coming in between when we are doing something or when the processor is doing something some other part is coming and asking for a help or a service this is called interrupt okay now what is interrupt latency interrupt latency means it is the latency or it is the time uh, difference in between raising of an interrupt signal and the interrupt signal or the interrupt is being executed or it is serviced or that part is serviced so uh, when at the moment when a part or a unit is requiring a um, help or a service from the processor that part will raise an interrupt and the moment when the uh, cpu or the processor is ready it will service that part or it will help that part okay so there is a time delay in between these two when i want something and the moment when you give me that thing okay there is a time difference in between these two this latency is called interrupt latency so here we are talking about interrupt perspective so it is called interrupt latency so we can say it is the time difference or the time delay the moment when the interrupt is raised and the interrupt is serviced okay so this is called interrupt latency so with this question i want to wind up this video uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll be going deep down into uh, real-time operating systems, various areas like inter-process communication, synchronization, uh, tools like semaphore or mailboxes or pipes. So the, we'll be going about that area as well. But make sure that you uh, mention in the comment session that you do you want it or do you don't want it or do you want some other topics. Okay, so please mention that in the comment session, which topic you want, which topic you want to prepare. So that I can understand, I can focus on that area and also help me in improving the content of this channel. Help me with your su suggestions that what I need to improve, what type of quality content you want, what type of area you, uh, you are interested in seeing. Please let me know. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.